Hey guys, today we're going to be talking through Pinball Arcade, so get ready. Alright guys, so first things first, uh, before we get started, just want to mention that the Pinball Arcade Media is on the hyperspinfe.com website. There is a Pinball Arcade uh, path or uh, system, if you will, uh, with a number of different types of media, but I will be including some of this uh, in the mega site in the description below, so definitely check that out. Uh, so before we get started, uh, what this is, is it's basically a PC game, uh, Pinball Arcade. It's got a lot of the classic pinball games that you remember uh, in the arcade. And it's bundled everything up in one application. So it's really nice. And uh, it essentially has a wheel, per se, uh, that you can choose a uh, basically a pinball cabinet. Uh, to play and what we're going to be doing is automating that a little bit using an auto hotkey to essentially allow you to select a game from hyperspin and then just boot that game straight up off of hyperspin so i'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that today since we are looking at a pc game and uh yeah let's get started so first we're going to uh, create something in hyper hq so what you're going to do is go to main menu wizard push the plus sign and then type in pinball arcade capital P capital A and hit next on that and that will create a uh, folder in hyperspin so you will then be able to go to the wheel settings here you're going to select pinball arcade you're going to see the settings that I have here I've got everything set to disabled uh, hyper launch and then the command is hyper uh, launch dot xe pinball arcade uh, and then the game name so uh, just to keep things consistent guys I customized my wheel a little bit so I moved the alpha to 0.15 kept everything else the same there the themes uh, tab I selected animate out the default theme and reload uh, background so that's it guys when it comes to the hyper HQ setup we're essentially just creating a path in your hyperspin root folder so you can manage your media and such so i'm going to go ahead and minimize hyper hq and then i'm going to go to rocket launcher ui and i'm under global tab here i'm going to go down to pinball arcade if that is not available to you yet push the plus sign here and then you'll see a window that looks like this go ahead and type in pinball arcade up uh, here uh, if you are adding it right now and then the path is going to be the path to your PC game so you can see my uh, pinball arcade XE is there and the module is going to be uh, the pinball module that I'll be providing you can find it on I think the rocket launcher forms uh, as well but I'm going to uh, do the dirty work for you and uh, just provide that for you so it'll just work. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, uh, this fade in, so you know when you select a game there'll be a fade in screen. That will take a little longer than usual. I don't know, I'd say about a minute maybe and uh, it'll boot the thing right up. So behind the scenes it's uh, opening the XE, it's trying to find your game and uh, all while you're uh, sitting pretty. So. Uh, that's what that auto hotkey is doing. So it, you're going to select virtual emulator as a yes. So you're going to check that and then you're going to close that. So since we've already created a pinball arcade uh, system on Hyper HQ, you'll find pinball arcade in Hyper or sorry, uh, Rocket Launcher UI. And what you're going to do is you are going to make sure your settings look uh, similar to mine. You're going to make sure the cursor is set to false. Everything else is set to global. Uh, check out my later video or prior video on Rocket Launcher's uh, setup 
I believe uh, part one of uh, three will show you all of the global settings that I chose. And when you scroll down, the only other setting that is not a global is under skip checks. You're gonna select uh, the game only. And then we're gonna go to fade general. Everything looks good there. The fade in, uh, I had to use the legacy fade in transition. You might not have to. Uh, if you can use the default animated fade in, great. But uh, I'm pretty sure you'll gonna, you're gonna have to use the legacy fade in as well. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind, select that. And then the fade out, you're gonna just set to false. So when you quit the game, it's gonna shoot right back to hyperspin. Uh, also mute emulator on fade, you're gonna select as true. Uh, so you don't hear sort of the, uh, uh, basically the loading process. You don't wanna hear any sort of music happening uh, because again, remember that auto hotkey is launching that XE and then it's taken some time to find that game uh, on the pinball arcade uh, wheel that's happening. So uh, once that XE is open, then the music starts playing and that's what that mute on fade is all about. So I'm gonna scroll down to make sure everything else looks good. It does. And we should be good. I'm gonna check bezels just out of habit. I've got bezels set to false and everything else is set to global settings. So you should be good to go here. So um, once we're done with the settings tab, like we are, we're gonna to go to emulators. You're gonna see the, the game path is set to, uh, to nothing. And then the default emulator, you're gonna click the magnifying glass. You're gonna find Pinball Arcade because that is what we just set up under the global settings. And once you've done that, you'll see the default there and you're good to go. Uh, the Pinball Arcade Auto Hotkey, what we're gonna do is we are gonna drop that in the path that, uh, that I had previously just shown you. It's in the Rocket Launcher folder under modules and uh, yeah, so here's the modules and we're going down to Pinball Arcade. And you can see there's been a lot of tinkering happening and you guys are only gonna get the, the good stuff. So uh, I'll be providing the auto hotkey and the uh, any file here. Uh, one thing uh, I wanna mention this any file, uh, how this auto hotkey works is it has to look for the uh, location of your pinball games. And this list, the My Tables, is basically a list of every game that is on my XE, and it's in the correct order. So uh, this is how it's able to find the, the game that you're trying to launch. And you can see the start game is set to false, full screen set to true, select key is enter, and then the uh, list of tables. So. Uh, depending on the version that you have or the uh, the number of tables that you've purchased, um, this could be modified. So uh, you want to make sure that this is a one-to-one -one image to what your pinball arcade table wheel looks like. If you don't have one of these games, you will have to end up deleting it so uh, it doesn't accidentally pick the wrong game. So uh, as long as you've got everything uh, uh, the same as uh, me, uh, the same number of tables, you should be good to go. And uh, yeah, uh, one thing to keep in mind, there are two different versions of Pinball Arcade. There is a DX9 and a DX10. And the DX10 is, it might be DX11, I'm, I can't remember, but I'm using DX9. And uh, the only difference is the graphics, um, you know, and the size, of course, for the, the game itself. And it wasn't worth the uh, extra size to me for uh, you know slightly better graphics that I could barely notice. But um, you know, you guys might notice more, and you guys might care about the other version uh, more. So definitely, you know, get the one that you're after. And uh, there's no wrong answer to the solution, guys. All right, so we are going to close that out, and you have set up Pinball Arcade. So. This one was an easy one, and oh, and I almost forgot, under the modules tab, when you select Pinball Arcade, you're gonna select Edit Global Module Settings, and you're gonna make sure your settings match the same as what I've got. If you are using the Pinball version uh, 11, 
you'll select that for better graphics if you have that version. I have version 9, so I've got that selected. I've got all tables set to true, and we've also got a list of all the tables. So this is the most important part, guys. You want to make sure that this matches the exact same uh, file or list of tables that you'll find in your module settings under the INI file, uh, which is here. And once you've got that running, uh, things will be good to go and we'll be able to test this uh, game out. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch this since this is, an, uh, this is a PC game. So what I'm going to do is I've already loaded this uh, wheel here and uh, this theme that you're looking at uh, was created by yours truly and this is on the download section of Hyperspin. Uh, let's go ahead and launch uh, a game here. So uh, since this is a PC game, I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. We're gonna see what happens. Hold on. Starting attack from Mars. Loading, Loading game. So what this is uh, going to do is it's going to find this game and it will uh, just boot it right up. Uh, you just give it a, a minute or two and uh, Loading complete. So there you are. It's found the game and it launched it right up. So it did everything. It did everything that Choose it was supposed another to. Game. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of that. I'm pinball Arcade. Under my pinball nested wheel here. And this, I believe, was created by uh, Retro Humanoid. Uh, great theme. All right, guys. So you've seen Pinball Arcade. I hope that helps. I will uh, include some of the INI files and the auto hotkey uh, and the mega uh, site that is in the description below. So I hope that helps you guys. And uh, good luck. Uh, we'll catch you next time. All right, bye.